Well, I uh, really appreciate uh, having me. Uh, I'm humbled by all the great things that they were said about me. Uh, also humbled by the by the, the brewers giving me the opportunity to be come to this uh, franchise uh, by this, being the second manager. Uh, hopefully, we can stay up to our level. I believe that uh, the player that we have got in the la last uh, trades in the big leagues uh, will bring a lot of talent to this town, and we're going to be really competitive out there. I think the staff that we have in place for for this level. Coming with uh, my brother will be the hitting coach, and Chris Hook will be the pitching coach, and we have a great uh, uh, staff, medical staff with Steve and Nate. Uh, and I'm humbled by the uh, Chuck and the front office staff, and looking forward to put out there the best of our ability to be, not be just uh, competitive, but uh, also to be a, a winning franchise. I think a winning is part of development. Uh, I think that uh, we like to get involved with the fans uh, because that also develop then uh, when they get to Milwaukee to be involved and make sure that the fans know that uh, we appreciate them coming in. Any questions? Well, this is going to be one of the kind. This is uh, the first time. And like uh, Chris said earlier, there haven't been uh, two brothers coming from the, from Latin America that, uh, in the same stuff. I, I believe this is the first time. Uh, this is uncommon. And, you know, I'm really excited to have my brother uh, in the staff. I mean, what, I mean, what's the relationship between you? I mean, is it, you know, could what, explain us, you know, what's that relationship going to be like on just being members of the same staff? Well, you know, Sunday night, whatever we've been, uh, everywhere we go, we've been together. Actually, the relationship between us is unbelievable. Uh, he knows when I get mad, I know when he gets mad. Uh, and I know I know how to treat him and I know how to calm him down. So he knows the same thing. Uh, as we were growing up uh, as kids, uh, you know, we were, he plays in one league, I play in the same team, you know, whatever he went, you know, I was, I was around. Uh, they call us like we were twins, so we're pretty similar. We have different characters, but uh, I believe uh, it's going to be a, 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 good, a good environment. Uh, did you follow the story all of the Shuckers last year? Well, every, everyone in baseball, especially us, uh, the Brewers, you know, we, we knew coming into the season and the ballpark not being uh, ready, uh, what they're going to encounter in, in, you know, the start of the season. I think this is, you know, incredible what they accomplished as a team. Uh, I, that's, that's given the credibility of the players and the, the staff and everyone that was involved because it was tough all around it. The, the recent, I know the recent trade with the A's, you bring in the catcher. It seems like the Brewers' system is on the rise right now with RC and Phillips coming through. I mean, how would you say that the talent is right now coming through the system? Well, the talent pool that, uh, like I said, uh, after last season we started making trades, I think the, the talent that is coming in is uh, that will put us uh, around the five tops organization, the best talent in baseball. Uh, I believe when you can accomplish that, you're always going to have a really good material on the field. Uh, everything, I believe a lot also in chemistry. I believe a lot in, you know, what they're trying to accomplish individually, but also it's a team sport. Uh, when you put all that together and, you know, have good faith and, you know, everything was being taken care of. I find out through the season that uh, the hardest you work the luckiest you get for some reason. So it's not a given. Uh, I don't think any anybody will be given uh, that opportunity. You gotta earn it. Uh, and you know, take take care on the field. You know, hard work pays off. Uh, is there any philosophy to your style of managing? I know with Super O it was 
even really aggressive on the base pass and the blood risk? How would you describe it? Well, if you got speed, you got to run. If you don't have speed, you're hoping that you got a lot of power. So I, I will say that I'm, I'm adaptable. I like to be unpredictable on things that I, I want to do. Uh, I know when you have a good pitching and good defense uh, and good timely hitting, that's a, a combination that you're going to win a lot of ball games. But also, you got to be able to combine all the other things. Uh, for me, to be un unpredictable and things that I'm going to do on the field, that's, uh, that's the key of success. When you, but you also got to have the talent. You know, and, and teach them that take advantage of what they're giving you. Certain pitchers, they're really quick to the plate. Uh, so the percentage that you're going to get thrown out uh, on the base is going to be higher. When you find somebody that give you, you know, slow to the plate, that's, you got to exploit their weaknesses. So that's, that's one thing uh, we got to teach. And to be successful on the big league level, you have to be able to do that. Now, a guy that knows by speed and knows how to run the bases and his uh, success in the big league is going to be uh, stealing bases, he got to be able to steal bases from those guys that are quick. So you got to learn how to uh, what triggers the wind up and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't want to get in too deep, uh, of, uh, but uh, those are that, those are the things that uh, 29 years of experience uh, I got to be able to translate to my players. Fans in Biloxi haven't experienced major league talent here, you know, in their own backyard. They will on April 2nd. So, what can the fans expect when they see Brewers here? best players in this organization here in Biloxi? Well, you know, I will say you got to consider yourself lucky. You know, it's uncommon that a major league team comes to a, a small city and bring and bring that pool, uh, that talent into that city and compete. Uh, I think uh, fans uh, have to be, you know, really supported. I'm really happy of uh, seeing you know, then perform uh, for the first time. Uh, I think it's uh, lucky and special. That's what I, I will say, uh, you know, being supportive uh, for this to, to happen. Not, you're not looking just for one time. You like, you like to make this, uh, you know, uh, consistent thing that happens. And I think it, with the fan support, will be really appreciated uh, to make it happen. You enter the spring having a pretty good idea of which guys you're going to be working with this season, or is it just kind of up in there just wait to see? Well, I, I got a pretty good idea, but uh, you know, I think uh, th that the team that we might is going to be built by the you know, the decision is going to be made by the higher up. Uh, they made the decision, uh, you know, whatever they give me, I know I know I got to work with, uh, but I know by the, the things that I have comments later, uh, it's going to be pretty good. I think the talent we got coming up is going to be, will be really competitive at every level, I will say. How long have you been in Brewers? 28 years. 28 years. Uh, you've been around it for a while. I mean, would you say that, you know, compared to over the last three decades, is this the most talent they've had in the system ever? Well, I could say, the, I could say yes, and, you know, at one point, uh, Brewers were, when I started playing in the Brewers organization, Brewers was a really competitive organization. You're talking in the late 80s, early 90s. Uh, you see uh, you see, Sheffield was in there, Bill Spire, uh, Jamie Navarro. Uh, we had a, and we had teams in double A and triple A won a lot, uh, around 85 to 90 ball games. Uh, when I played in the Brewer organization in the minor leagues, out of uh, nine years, we went to playoff five years. Uh, won one time as a player. And, uh, but every level we were, you know, we were really competitive. Uh, we are trying to accomplish that because the winning mindset develops uh, good players. Uh, and that's what we're looking for as an organization. But, uh, when they get there, they know how to win. So you have developed uh, uh, full around players. 
don't just don't just get there to play we just we get there to play and win that's our final goal what did you first think when you heard that you were going to be managing a team named the shuckers <laughs> you know uh, i actually haven't thought about it but uh, <laughs> you know i don't i don't i don't really look at at the at the name but uh I like the uniform. <laughs> I love the color. You know, for me, the, you know, it's just a name. I think it's, everything is going to be the way you represent it, uh, that, uh, that name. You made the name. You got to make the name. It doesn't matter what the name is. Is Tournament facility here when do you think? Uh, you're blessed by that great facility. I mean, this is a really nice stadium, good feel. Uh, you look at the view, you, you know, it's outstanding. Not everywhere, you know, if, it, if any one of you guys been in Huntsville, where they come, when the last AA team play there, you go from nowhere to almost high class. That's awesome. And you mentioned that you're going to be doing some things with the community. Can you talk a little bit about that? Well, you know, I like to get involved with the community because I believe the community uh, we're part of the community. Uh, I like the players to be signing autograph. Uh, you know, I think I think the more you exchange with the community, the more you you get from the community. I think it's uh, being supported also by the the franchise that we play for. So where they get when they get to Milwaukee, we want them to get involved also. So we're not trying to develop just players on the field but all around players to be able to, you know, feel for the community, be able to exchange for the community that you've been blessed by being a pro athlete. When they get to the big league, also they make money, but also you can touch people's life one way or the other. Uh, you gotta be able to do that. I think, uh, you know, uh, it goes a long way. You know, when you pat a kid in the back and you know, they, they look at, up to you and, you know, it takes only 20 seconds to sign an autograph and give him a high five. That's great. And your first impression, I know you already talked about it a little bit. What is your first impression of Golden State? It is a smaller community, but of course it's huge. Well, you know, uh, I haven't been here that long to say that I've been involved with the community, but uh, just watching is it's a little spread out. Uh, hopefully I can get a better sense for it uh, when games start. And, uh, and I can uh, talk to kids and all that. But it looks, for me, everybody, everyone talk, talks great things about Biloxi. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, looking forward to, to be part of it and to bring exciting games to the ballpark. Anything else? I'm here for you, now or never. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, just a few more announce announcements. Uh, first of all, uh, we have some refreshments here, hot dogs, popcorn, sodas, water. Uh, hang out, you know, and, and enjoy yourself for a little bit. Uh, also, don't forget, uh, season tickets are on sale now, BiloxiShuckers.com. Uh, also, call us 228-233-3465, and we can uh, make a, a plan work for you with one of our Shemini plans. 18 or 10 games, uh, mini plans with a flex plan or season tickets. Tickets on sale for the exhibition game as well, April 2nd, BiloxiShuckers.com and uh, at the MGM Park box office, Ticketmaster.com as well. So that's uh, anything else? Good. Patrick's ready? All right. Patrick's ready to go. We're ready to go. Let's go.